Welcome back to Learn with MedNuggets. In this video, we will teach you how to diagnose Cushing's syndrome. When a patient with Cushing's syndrome like symptoms presents to the hospital, the first step is to confirm the diagnosis. This can be done by ordering a few tests to confirm the high cortisol level in blood, which is indicative of Cushing's syndrome. Cortisol is a steroid hormone made by your adrenal glands that helps your body respond to stress, regulate blood sugar, and fight infections. In most people, cortisol levels are highest in the morning, which helps you to wake up, and lowest around midnight, because that's the time you're sleeping and your body's relaxed. But this pattern can change if you work a night shift and sleep at different times of the day. Because remember, your body releases cortisol when you experience stress, right? So a night shift worker could have high levels of cortisol at night. There are four tests that can be used to confirm the diagnosis of Cushing's syndrome. Test number one is the 24-hour urinary free cortisol test. This test measures the level of cortisol in your urine. Since cortisol is released at different times during the day, the best way to measure it is to collect the urine you produce over 24 hours. An abnormally high urine-free cortisol level is indicative of Cushing's syndrome. The second test is the midnight salivary cortisol level test. This can be done by measuring the cortisol level in two saliva samples taken on two nights in a row. An abnormally high cortisol level is indicative of Cushing's syndrome because remember, nighttime is when your cortisol levels are the lowest, right? The last two tests are dexamethasone suppression tests, which are the overnight dexamethasone suppression test and the standard two-day dexamethasone suppression test. So what exactly is this dexamethasone? Dexamethasone is a synthetic steroid similar to cortisol which suppresses ACTH. In a normal person, a dexamethasone injection can inhibit ACTH secretion by the pituitary causing a drop in cortisol level in serum, urine and saliva. However, such inhibition does not occur in patients with Cushing syndrome. After confirming the diagnosis, we should do a few investigations to determine the cause of Cushing's syndrome. First, we can measure the serum ACTH level. A low serum ACTH level indicates that it's an ACTH-independent cause, possibly an adrenal gland tumor secreting high levels of cortisol. An adrenal gland tumor secreting an abnormally high level of cortisol can inhibit ACTH release from the pituitary. A high serum ACTH level indicates that we are dealing with an ACTH-dependent cause of Cushing's syndrome, means the high serum cortisol is due to the high ACTH levels in the serum, which could be due to a pituitary tumor or an ectopic ACTH-producing lung tumor. In this case, we can do a high-dose dexamethasone suppression test to find out which of these it is. A high-dose dexamethasone injection is more likely to suppress or respond to pituitary tumors, but less likely or shows no response to ectopic lung tumors. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.